the last time I went golfing, I was walking with my cart and I broke my strap. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, this is a typical pull push cart for golf clubs. And you can see here that the strap is busted because this thing isn't new. And you know, especially with the way golf bags are these days, they can be pretty heavy and put a lot of stress on that strap. Now for the time being, I have been using this bungee cord to hold the bags on. But I thought, you know, I work hard and I want a permanent solution. So I bought this replacement strap and I thought we'd put it on and see if it works. This may happen to you, and it happened up here where I think the bag kind of levers itself out, puts a lot of stress on that. Now, there are actually two straps on most carts. There's a bottom one right there, and this one seems to be fine. It's got that plastic buckle, but this one up here is the one that's broken. Now, this thing that I bought here is an all-purpose 35-inch cart strap, and it looks like it's about the same width. So, uh, I think these are about three-quarter inch wide. Now, I want to say here, this strap advertises itself as a two-pack, and if I open it up, look at that, we have two different straps. So, if you have one of these straps broken or both of them, or you just wanna make sure that they match, like for the one down here, you can get this and replace both of them. Now, because these are pretty old, I might replace both of them, but the one up here is the one that I'm most interested in. And as you can see here, the clip here is like one of these standard plastic backpack-like clips, but obviously I'm going to need it open because this is the end I'm going to thread through the existing opening. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing I have to do is remove this old strap and that's not gonna be a problem. Uh, it just comes out just like this. And there we go. Now I am going to weave this strap through there. And the way you wanna make sure that this is oriented is that this little crossbar here faces the outside. So you wanna make sure that this is on the outside of the bag. And that's because the outer piece right here is actually like a little blade. You can see this edge is pretty sharp. It kind of angles down there. And that's because when we thread this thing up, we're gonna put the strap through the bottom here and then over the top bar and then under this outside bar. And that little blade there is going to hold this in. So if I put pressure on it, it's not gonna slide out. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. I don't think this should take long. I'm going to put it through the one hole here, making sure that bar is on the outside. There's a couple of holes in the back, which are the hardest piece to get it through. You might need some tweezers if your fingers are not particularly small. And then we put that just like that. And then I'm gonna run the strap, just as I demonstrated, through there and then through there. And now I have a brand new strap installed on this golf cart. Let's just see if it works. All right, golf bag laid in. Strap pulled around here. I'm gonna put it through the handle, clip it together, cinch it down. That seems to work. Look at that, it's not going anywhere. That is sorted. And like I said, because this is a two pack, if you want to install that second strap down below and make sure that that is as new as possible too, it's probably a good idea. I'm gonna put this one in too. But if you wanna pick up this two pack of straps for your push pull cart, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.